wanted to ask what uh, what was the what was uh, Boise State doing to make it so hard for you guys to run the ball? It just seemed like you couldn't get uh, get things on track like you had in other at other times. Yeah, they they did a good job at you know kind of bottling things up and not letting us get um, you know big plays in the run game and you know credit to those guys they played really hard and you know they they held their gaps well did what they needed to do and had uh, you know extra guys close to the ball to to help out so they you know they they played real hard and they did good and you know ultimately um, you know we we didn't quite do enough especially in the run game so. On a broader perspective, James, and you and I have kind of talked on, about this before, but um, football is such a results-based, you know, game. You know, it's, did you win? Did you lose? Are you able to step back and enjoy the process, win or lose? Because, I mean, you're out there to play, but a loss is always tough. So, you know, are you able to still enjoy the process even when things don't go your way? Yeah, man. I mean, we're, we're all about love and learning here. So um, what better time to learn than uh, – you know, after a loss in a, in a moment where you can, you can, uh, you know, see what you did wrong and, and try to get better, right? The, you only get so many chances to play, play football. You work all year round for, for just a few weeks during the fall and, uh, you just can't let any of them slip by. So you got to enjoy the moment, um, enjoy everything you can and work your butt off to try to, you know, get better each weekend and week out. You know what I mean? So just got to take them as they come and, and find ways to love it and learn it and uh, and get better. And that's, that's what we're going to do this week. Okay, next we'll have uh, Caleb, and then Jay will follow him, and then Sean. Hey, James. Um, you know, going down to Baylor this week, you guys get a bit of a preview of the Big 12 uh, and also, you know, what it's like to be in Texas playing football. Um, what have you kind of seen from Baylor on, on film, and what are you most looking forward to going down there to Waco? Yeah, just just on film, it you know they they're a defense that plays really hard. They do you know they're disciplined. They they play their style of defense. Um, you know they're they're physical. They they do what they do, and and I've been impressed with them on film, uh, especially from a defensive standpoint. So just looking forward to that. I'm you know I'm excited for the challenge. You love the challenge. You, you uh, love to have big games like these against uh, good opponents and good defenses. And you know I think everybody's excited to you know, be able to get back to work this week and, and, uh, and um, you know, figure out how to get better and figure out how to, how to um, go after these guys. And like I was saying, I think they're, they, they look good on film and, and uh, it's an exciting matchup because it's some great competition. Go ahead, Sean. That's me. Sorry about that. Uh, James, you touched on this a little bit with their, their defense. And, and looking at their – I mean, I've been looking at their, their defensive line specifically. And they're big guys, but you guys are used to, to playing against big guys. But they're, they seem to be really long. Like they're tall and long-limbed and that kind of thing. What kind of a – what kind of a, I guess, advantage or disadvantage or whatever – is playing against a long defender like on the line of scrimmage. Does that make sense? Like size is one thing, but just being able to be kind of long. Like, what what's that kind of like going up against them? Right, I got you. Well, I mean, ha having long arms as an offensive or defensive lineman is helpful, right? Because you can kind of reach out and touch somebody a little sooner, and and uh, you know, it's it's an advantage to be a little bit taller, a little bit longer arms. But you know, for, for the most part just focus on on playing with good technique playing with good fundamentals and 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 running off the football and so you know that's whether you're playing somebody who's short with short arms or tall with long arms or anything in between you just you need to play with the fundamentals and and uh you know play good football and and uh, especially from you know old line play right so you got to play with good fundamentals and you got to run off the ball and that's that's what you got to do regardless of who you're playing Okay, let's go with Jay Drew and then Mitch Harper. Hey, James, uh, put on your professor cap. Uh, it's midterm time. You guys are halfway through the season. Uh, what kind of grade would you give this team or progress report would you give the Cougars so far? <laughs> um, you know, I think I think we've done a lot of good things and we've got a, a long ways to go. Um, and, you know, that's – 
I think, you know, clear to, to a lot of people watching. We, we do some good things. Um, we need to put a whole game together. Uh, we need to find, you know, ways to, you know, overcome adversity a little bit better um, and just continue to play as a team. I, I think, you know, I, I was in here earlier when Kalani was talking, and I think he, like, guys are playing really hard uh, with tons of effort, um, you know, and, and just that we love the game of football, you know what I mean? So we got to see if we can, you know, put put it all together now and, and uh, you know, play play like like I know we can because, um, you know, we, we've been close at times and uh, we just got to keep getting better and, and see if we can get to that point. Another uh, question in that vein, would you have taken five and one staring down the schedule that you guys knew you were playing in September and October? I don't know. I, I uh I don't I don't really look at it that way. So um, the the way I look at it is I look at it one week at a time. So I, if you said you'd be five one, I'd say okay, we'll see, because the next week is the most important week, right? So this week against Baylor, that's the most important week for me. I'm I'm happy where we're at right now. I think we're in a good spot. You know, I think uh, we have a chance to you know bounce back and and do what we do. And um, I'm excited for the guys to to get back to work this week and, and attack this week because you're, you're only promised the next one and, and uh, you just got to take it one at a time and, and do your best to prepare for that one. So on to Baylor. James, uh, what uh, impact did uh, Jeff Grimes have on, on your development as, a, as an offensive lineman? Yeah, Coach, coach Grimes and, and, you know, the other coaches that were here too when, when he was here, both PU and Mateo State, they're they're great offensive line coaches. They they really know the game and and they they do a good job at, at developing players. And you know, I was grateful to have them for you know the last the last three years and and to be able to work with them. And you know, I, I from what I've seen from the Baylor offense, they're they're still doing their thing. And and you know, they're good coaches. Their guys are well coached. And you know, is is great to to have them on our squad. And you know, wish them the best going forward. And. I'm, uh, I love I love the the group of guys we have right now. I love the 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 unit that we have right now. I think you know we have, um, you know we're doing good, but there's a lot uh, that we need to still do to to be better. Um, so I, I look forward to that challenge, and I, I love the coach we have right now. I think Coach Funk's doing a great job and um, preparing us and developing us. And and uh, yeah, I, I like I like who we got right now. I like our group. And that ties into my next question. How, how, how have uh, maybe you graded out individually so far from, from Funk's grading, and, and is it meeting the high expectations maybe you had for yourself coming into the season? Yeah, I mean, uh, I heard I heard somebody say the, the other day um, uh, that, you know, our, our, expe- our expectation for ourselves are – are higher than the ones that anybody else has for us. You know what I mean? So the the guys that are here, we really love football, really love um, to be out here and get better. And we're, you know, competitive and we're trying to be the best we can be. And, you know, I, I uh, me, me, like other players, we're our own worst critics. And, and uh, you know, I think there's a lot that I need to do to get better, um, especially after looking at this last game. And, and I'm excited to attack that. So. You know, always just looking at the next the next day of practice and the and the next week to find ways to get better and and perform you know how you want to and and that's kind of my approach. So, you know, I you're you're, you're never can't ever be satisfied with where you're at and and you know I I need to do a lot more and um and play and play a lot better.